Very quickly, very in that quickly. case, do um, Aftermath, which is a, a very odd thing. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this isn't going to be showing in, in many cinemas. Based on a, a real uh, mid-air collision uh, involved a Danish uh, air traffic controller, here the story is moved to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Scoot McNary is the air traffic controller who's left on his own uh, to man a tower and is then held responsible for a terrible accident. Arnie Arnold Schwarzenegger is the bereaved father and husband who faces a total lack of sympathy from the airline and whose bitterness and whose uh, need for some form of reconciliation all ends up being aimed at the air traffic controller. Here's a clip. Put his house up for sale and moved to another state. He works at a travel agency four blocks away from his new apartment. And what's his address? I don't know if I should give you that. What's wrong? I'd like you to use this information in the correct way. There is no correct way or incorrect way. It's not that simple. I told you, I just want to look him in the eye, show him a photograph of my family. I want him to apologize. No one has said they're sorry. No one. Pat Dilbert. His name is Pat Dilbert now. It's a really oddly unsatisfying film. On the one hand, I mean, obviously it's dealing with, uh, you know, uh, tragedy, and it's almost like two completely different films. The stuff with Scoop and Neri in it is actually quite haunting and atmospheric, and the stuff with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it is completely unconvincing <coughs> and appears to be... I said, appears to be from a different film. It's weird because you have people like Darren Aronofsky um, attached uh, as uh, one of the producers or the executive producers, um, screenwriter, is somebody who's done good stuff in the past. And But the, the, it felt terribly, terribly unsatisfactory, despite the fact that there is half of it is, a, is a, an interesting and haunting drama about tragedy and guilt and responsibility. And the other half of it is Arnold Schwarzenegger in a, in a movie that just does not appear to work. It's a very odd, very peculiar film and just oddly disappointing despite moments in it in which you think, oh, this is about to become... It starts out very well, actually. There's a... It's, you know, it's, it's, when, you sort of, when a film doesn't work, it's often what you're left doing is trying to just isolate the bits that do work and there are enough haunting moments in this to make the failure of the film frustrating i think that's the best way of describing it